So recently, on April the 5th, 2025, Kawasaki Industries introduced CoreLeo, a groundbreaking hydrogen-powered robot that is a vehicle designed for human riders. Now, this was unveiled at the Osaka Kansai Expo, and this is absolutely incredible. If you want to believe that we are in the future, just take a look at that majestic leap that you guys can see right here. This is the future that we are currently looking at. So this is a, you know, a new style of robot that isn't really like the kind of AI robots that I usually feature on this channel. But nonetheless, the technology is so amazing, so perplexing, so incredible that I decided to share this video with you all today. Now, I do apologize for the quality of footage. It is quite hard to find some really high definition footage of this incredible, you know, robot that is basically designed like a horse. But nonetheless, I do want to still show you all the core Leo robot because it is truly incredible in terms of how much it looks like an innovative piece of hardware. This is something that I can only imagine would be incredible to ride and probably would be pretty fun for those lovers of horses. So essentially, this thing is absolutely incredible. It's powered by an 150cc 20 horsepower hydrogen engine that generates electric motors to drive each of the four legs. Now, it's pretty crazy because this robot is actually designed in a really unique way because they took a lot of inspiration from horses, as you guys can see by the way that the robot moves and it walks. And I think we've definitely seen some robot dogs like the Boston Dynamics dogs. We've seen those robots beforehand, how they've managed to perform. But these kinds of robots that we're seeing now, I think this is definitely another major leap up as it seems to innovate on a previously very well-known platform, as in there are tons of research papers exploring the limits of humanoid robots and robot dogs. And trust me, there is just a million things you can do with those. So this robot apparently actually has a distance of 150 miles. And one of the things that I found when doing some research and making this video was that it's actually got a unique design. So one of the things that they speak about is that they are apparently terrain sensing hooves. So they talk about the fact that these rubber split hooves that you can see features, you know, on every single independent leg, and it actually allows it to move with balance and stability across different terrains. And its movement is described as more dynamic and lifelike than traditional vehicles, with observers noting that it moves with the agility of a panther or a dog. Now, apparently, this robot is equipped with flexible suspensions that enable the movement over rough terrain, including mountains and snow-covered areas. So, apparently, how they design these hooves is actually so that it's non-slip, and I'm guessing that they try to emulate what we could already see with horses and other animals that somewhat seem to defy gravity in certain places. And if you're wondering what I'm referring to when I say defy gravity, just take a look at goats that seemingly stand on nothing and somehow never manage to slip down. So I'm guessing they're using some innovative technology here to be able to cover these hooves with non-slip material so that these robots can really traverse the environment that they're in without slipping around and just essentially maintain that stability. So instead of wheels or flat feet, you know, they designed this rubber hoof, basically quite like animals have. And like I said before, it's not just, you know, a fancy hoof. They've actually got technology in them and there's sensors in them. So they will change the amount of pressure, the amount of grip, depending on what it is walking on. So whether it's going to be walking on gravel, snow, wet grass or uneven rock. These are the hooves that flex and grip the robot, you know, and keep it balanced, moving smoothly. So it's pretty crazy because I think this is one of the first times we're seeing something like this. And I mean, when we take a look at overall, why this is so interesting, it's because when we take a look at the entire design, it does look like a robot dog in terms of the actual sheer structure, but it does seem somewhat like a mix between a robot dog and somewhat of a jet ski if we're looking at purely the front end design. I will say, for the most part, this is definitely a very sleek design, and 
I do wonder how safe this would be because there are videos of this thing doing some running and leaping motions. And whilst yes, you can do that on a horse, I'm wondering, has this thing been safety tested? Now, I will, of course, talk about the elephant in the room. And that is, of course, the fact that while yes, you can actually see that the robot was, of course, unveiled at a convention, it isn't actually, you know, there to be able to be ridden. And currently the videos that you've seen, like those ones here, where it's hopping around and doing all of that crazy, crazy stuff. All of these videos that you see here, these are actually CGI videos. So unfortunately, this isn't real. And I know that this actually took the social media world by storm. I couldn't really enter social media without seeing this robot here. I will say one thing though, that is really surprising about this is that the reaction that social media has had may, you know, allow me to believe that there possibly might be a demand for these kind of robots because, you know, from the POV style of view, from the aerial style of view, I do think that potentially these robots do look like they might be one of the things that people might try in a futuristic world, especially if you're deciding to explore the future. I mean, there's tons of, you know, vehicles that you just don't really have in nature because of course the terrain is so varied that you don't really have anything that would be able to traverse all those different kinds of areas. Now, one thing that you might be thinking of is, okay, this thing can travel up grass, over mountains, you know, down slopes. But what is something that, you know, powers this robot? Because, of course, as you know, it is something that is going to need some kind of fuel source. Now, it's not like a car. We can't just put some diesel in it or some petrol or some gas and then, you know, immediately pull out of a gas station. And this is one of the things I saw is that this robot is actually powered by hydrogen. So it actually uses a hydrogen powered system to generate electricity for movement. Like I said before, it features a 150 cc hydrogen motor that produces electricity to drive the robot's four legs. And this basically allows the robot to operate like a horse across the varied terrains. Now, the hydrogen power is basically the fuel cell at its core. And this basically converts chemical energy from hydrogen into electrical energy. And then with all of that, you can basically power the entire system. Now, apparently this is going to run for 150 minutes, but do not quote me on that time. There's a lot of information floating around on the website, but it was interesting to know that they would choose hydrogen because of course, most of the robots I've seen recently have actually been completely electric. And some of them have been hydraulic systems like with, you know, the previous version of Atlas. So it's really interesting to see them taking a completely different approach. Now, of course, I think most people are wondering, the big question here is that will this robot actually go into full scale production? And honestly, I don't know because currently, we're, you know, many people do things like concepts and, you know, we always get these fancy demos. But building the product into something that actually works is a completely different thing. You have to understand that these demos here are to gauge what the robot could do if it was built with an actual, you know, platform that is able to do this. And honestly, guys, the things I've seen robotics, I fully now understand that this is possible. Like if you haven't been paying attention to the robotics world, please do not underestimate where robotics can take us in the next few years. Because if you put a robot like this into, you know, simulation and it's able to truly understand its environment and it's able to immediately sense and understand where humans are, I promise you, you could get a robot that looks completely incredible. And this could be 100% realistic. I've seen some robots Rebus recently do some things that I never thought they'd do. And now we're standing at an age where pretty much anything in robotics is going to be possible soon. So whilst now, yes, this video is CGI and it seems like it's a complete pipe dream, I wouldn't be writing this off completely for the future. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about the Corlea robot. Do you guys think that this is funny? Do you guys think that this is cool? I think this is absolutely amazing. I think so many products need to just be built because they just look cool rather than the actual practicality of them. And I think this is one of those. So Japan has been building robots for a very long time now, and this definitely gets my seal of approval. So if you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one.